home. Such a funny thing. How it's always, always, and always once. My home was once, but always is, a simmering in the kitchen. The stove fan on and sounding like the longest exhale of the day. It's my grandmother, back hunched over like a water faucet, squatted above the kitchen floor, sound of the butcher blade being swallowed by the cutting board. A loud thump, like the boat being thrown into the water. Home was once, is, and probably is water. The womb, the ocean that birthed you, the water your family broke to home here. Your family home broke so they watered themselves a new one across the ocean, across the country. Our home is once, once, and always, always. How home is once and always water. What I'm trying to say is home doesn't seem so far if you think about the things separating us from it being home too. Or if it's a war, or if it's a broken family, or distance, drown it in the ocean. Drown it in the water until you no longer can see it, until you know it was once there and always is. When was the last time you felt like the home could be the thing that makes home feel less like it? And I wonder if you too could be drowning in home. And I wonder if you too can be drowning. Hey you, when's the last time you swam in the water? Has it ever tried to pull you back into its womb? Birth you in reverse. Drowning is just a foreshadow. Funny how all of us once ran from home and it probably still is. My mother was once and is probably is my home, even though she is more or less than always. If I really wanted to, I can boil all of this water out of this pot, all of this home out of this pot. The humming will be a long inhale. The cutting board is more muscle memory the frying oil pops and crackles on the stove, sounding like fireworks, especially if there's a little water in the mix. Thank you, man. Let's go. Oh.